Welcome, welcome to Libertarian Drinking Coffee Live. Yes, I am here, and the brand is strong. Yes, it is, absolutely. Guys, thanks so much for showing up. and Give me a piece of your afternoon. Please remember to like, comment, and share. It does matter. There are libertarians all across this country, locally trying to make something happen, and I am very lucky today. Today, I have with me someone who is actually trying to make impact in New York City. Yes. Oh, my God. In New York City, the city that I live, that I was born in. <laughs> absolutely. The, I have the special person herself, Stacey Pressman. How are you? Great, Larry. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm drinking my 7-Eleven coffee, which is rare, but I just had to grab some, some to drink. That's I'm the thing, moving. though. I'm we go around getting coffee. Yes. Yeah, I'm in my mom's house right now. I'm moving tomorrow, so I'm just uh, got my coffee. I'm all ready to go. Run the city. I love it. There we go. I, I I actually made mine in my kitchen. I know it seems kind of weird, but I did. I did instant today. It happens. It's, so even oh I do it. I know, crazy, right? But I did. It's true. So I I have to ask you, Stacey. You know, Yang is now gone. For those of you who don't know, Yang was running for mayor in New York City, and he's dropped out. So Yang is no no longer here, and he was. While he didn't win the election, he was the most popular across the country, the most well-known person who was running. He had a lot of ideas, and I think a lot of people who supported him aren't going to be happy with the current front runner, which is Eric Adams. That, that may not why he may not be the one who wins the Democratic primary because here in New York City we've screwed up the election yeah. completely. I know they're like the counting, but I mean ballots that were like sample ballots i'm like new york get it together yes we did not do our ranked choice voting very well at all in new york city so we don't know it looks like he's gonna win but he may not right but either way yang has dropped out so one of the reasons why i wanted to bring you on stacy is i wanted to, to kind of bring up some of his issues and concerns and how someone who was supporting him might decide to support you now instead because maybe you have some ideas and the most popular one was his UBI for New York. And for those who don't know, what Yang was going to do, his plan was, there's about half a million people in New York who are considered extre in extreme poverty, give or take. He was going to give, take a billion dollars out of the budget and give about $2,000 a year to every one of those people in an attempt to bolster what they're already getting so they can get out of poverty. That was kind of what he was trying to achieve. Now, you have a different view. You're yes. talking about, if I remember, it's your back to life plan. Is that right? Right. Right. It's more of a sustainable plan that gets people into, um, it helps them financially before they actually get into poverty. If it's an emergency, mm. if they are in poverty, it's a great place to start. And it, it's creating a sustainable job, a sustainable training and create and make sure their housing is sustainable at that point. Well, I remember you talked actually about having a, a plan, nine day plan, that actually included bringing in community recruiters and community services to kind of help bolster the community so the person could get some support from their own community right. and not just from the government. Right. We need people like corporations that need talent, people, uh, schools to train people. There's ways to help people without, I mean, I understand sometimes you just need cash. Let's, mm -hmm. We live in New York. We get into a situation we need cash. We have those services available. But sustainably speaking, we need people with careers, with jobs mm -hmm. that they can go to and sustain a life for years to come, not just throwing cash at the problem, which a lot of government does. What I, what I like so much what you're saying is you're talking about limited. You're saying, and we already have something called, it's called the one shot deal, right? Well, that happens when you're in an emergency situation, you go to right. HRA and then they give you like some sort of loan they pay like a few months rent, but you have to pay it back. And if you don't have a job, you can't get the one shot deal. Sometimes they don't understand your paperwork. It takes forever. And by that time you're starving on the streets <laughs> or, you know, going into eviction court. This prevents yes. this before the problem. It also helps you get back into a job or a career for years to come. We can't just put band-aids on top of problems, throwing a little cash. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes cash does help people. Sure, get out of poverty. Sure. I'm not saying it doesn't, but, Sustainably speaking, for most of the population, this could really work. Right, right. Before, so, and, and, and what it I love is the landlords as well as the tenants in those situations, mm -hmm. the mortgage brokers. I mean, the mortgage yep. uh, people paying their mortgages, the homeowners that might 
foreclose on, on a house. So it keeps people in their homes. We want to keep, always keep people in their homes. Yeah. What, what I what I like about what you're saying is there's New York City already has a one shot deal. I mean, they're already, that's already part of the budget. So you're saying you take the one shot deal, kind of mold it into the 90 day back to life program, right? Mold right. It into that so you don't spend any extra money. Add a community and recruiting as, uh, aspect, which promotes the community without any extra cash. Did I get exactly. that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. This 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 sounds way better than UBI. So see if you Yang guys are watching, there's another option for you right here. There's a way of dealing with this. So if you were in poverty, you could apply for this now, but you could apply for now your better program. Or if you find yourself in trouble, you could do this before you got there. And this is coming from someone who's come comes from the arts. I've seen a, like, for instance, a lot of actors, dancers, uh, not just from prior to the pandemic, losing their jobs. Um, they weren't union. They didn't get in benefits, or they were, or they, or they, they, they uh, aged out of their careers. And I've seen this happen to a lot of people in all different careers. I'm just giving from my own experience. And this sure. would help so many people uh, get back to life, create a new career, or maybe enhance the career they already have. I mean, that's where education comes into place, working with Cooney. I really yeah, believe yeah. it could be a, a, an amazing plan because we need to think of things moving forward. We don't, yeah, sometimes we just need a Band-Aid. But yep. I think for most people, we need like like a rehab, like, a, a you know, what are you doing something wrong with your money? Are you right. are you in debt? We don't want people to get more in debt, go bankrupt. We don't want that. It's, it's a holistic situation. It's not just staying in your home. It's like, we don't want you using all your credit cards. We don't, we need to teach people so, financial so, education. So let's go down to that piece. You just talked about that, right? Yang also talked about the idea. He, bring, he brought up the idea that about 11 to 12% of New Yorkers, adults, don't have a bank account. Yes, I'm they're, aware they're, of that. They're un, unbanked, as they call them, and they have to go to these credit card, not credit, um, these uh, cash checking places and, you know, spend huge amounts of money and have only only a cash economy, which I'm not against the cash economy. I'm not but, either. I, I, but I they shouldn't have to have one, right? It should be your choice. To. Well, yes, I mean, I, I know their bank accounts open to everybody. I'm not sure why they don't have a bank account. Pretty much anyone can get a bank account nowadays, either through Cash App is a bank account or Venmo or those types of things, uh, Chime. So, but we can have a People's Bank of New York. I don't see why we can't have our own credit union. I think that's a great idea. We could have cryptocurrency there as well. I know crypto, we should really start seeing how we can bring that more into our city. Well, people, this you just brought it up. People aren't talking about technology when it comes to banking, right? If you look at what Bernie Sanders talked about, he was talking about using the post office to provide banking services. Yang was like, let's not do that. Let's instead go to basically a, a people's credit union. But you just brought up something that a lot of people aren't talking about, basically using technology, right? Yeah. Using the chimes and the Venmos of the world to kind of create your own bank. I guess the only worry is, does... Does that are people doing that because they don't want to be banking or because they're scared? There's undocumented issues and also something that most people who are against these ideas are against it for one reason, which I disagree, but I get why. They don't like the idea that you don't have control, meaning that the know your customer laws or the KYC laws that major banking has, make sure they know everything about you, That's right? True. I know That's everything. Point. But if you go to Chime or something, they don't have to. Cryptocurrency, they don't have to. So I get their worry. But in my view, why do I care if they know everything about you? KYC laws don't actually work. They don't make anything. They just make thing, things worse. I mean, I know. So if I get what you're saying, you're saying you're fine with the People's Bank, but you're also, you also want to let people know that they have other options like yeah. the chimes and Venmos of the world. We're changing. Our economy is changing so you know drastically with the, with the cryptocurrencies and the Bitcoins and all that. And and I think it's a great idea. I mean, I was, I'm in the Actors Credit Union for many years. Uh, I know people that are in other types of credit unions and they love it. And they feel, they, you know, I think people should be more connected. To, I, I actually like smaller banking. I think mm -hmm. that's a really good idea. I think that we had smaller, more independent neighborhood banks, even like the Grayson sure. Bank of New York or the, the the Bensonhurst Bank or the Astoria Bank. You know, like I like I like local, 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 local. I I love that idea. Let me grab a couple of comments if I could. Sure. Um, Peter says uh, the LP is the only party not being shown as even running nationally. I don't know what that means. 
Um, I'm not sure where you're going with that one, Peter. I don't, I don't know where you're going with that one. Um, I, 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 I guess. I don't know. Um, Dan says, watching from New Jersey. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate that. Yes, absolutely. Uh, William Hi, says, good, good afternoon, Larry. Good afternoon, Stacy. Hey, Will. He's on there the we go. Room. How are you? So, John says, you think Bill will lose the primary and ultimately his cushy job as the worst mayor in the country? John, you may not realize this, but <laughs> Bill de Blasio is not running. He is out. He's bye-bye. Yes, he's, he's term limited out. We have term limits for our mayor, but not our governor. Yeah, for our mayor, but not our governor. Yes, absolutely. So William's on board with you. He says, we're the only party pr of principles and long-term solutions. Absolutely, 100%, yes. All right, let me see if I can grab this. Uh, Andrew says, in a hypothetical, if Stacey doesn't get elected, would she be willing to work with a Democrat or Republican mayor for New York City, and would she apply to be appointed to a position in a Democrat or Republican mayor's administration? Wow, that's, a, that's an odd question. So if you don't win... Would you be, you know, I mean, the, the odds are if you don't win, it's going to be a Democrat, right? I mean, you're 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 the spark that could happen. You're the Jesse Ventura possibility. Right. Republican is Curtis Sliwa. He's not going to win, right? That's that's a no. It's either going to be a Democrat, or you're going to slide in there with an amazing debate. Um, um, I'm showing, and the and and the, and the, and the city's going to be like, oh my God, where has she been all my life? So yeah. it's either you or the Democrat. So assuming the Democrat wins. Would you be? Would you consider joining a, joining forces? It's to me. It's not about you know. I want to bring the message of liberty. If I could bring that into into a any administration, and my policies, I would love to be able to be a part of that. I'm not. I want. I'm here to serve my city right now. I'm yes, running to serve go. the city. I so if there is a position for me that I could be the best at what I do, I would love to serve my city in any way possible. Here we go. Jay says, last week in New York City, off to Colorado. Bye, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, Jay. I'm sorry, Bye. Jay. I'll see you. Sorry. Julian says, we'll be donating to Stacy from LA. Julian, thank Ooh, you thank so much. You. Thank you for the donation. And for those who want to donate, you can head over to pressmanformayor.com. It is actually in the show notes and also at the bottom of your screen. Click the blue donate button if you want to support her. But not yeah, just that. Need she needs volunteers, We're on the general, ballot. We're on the general yes. ballot now. If anyone yes. knows that. If those of those who don't, those who don't know, she will be on the ballot in November. That is a done deal. She will be on the ballot. We have made what we had to jump. We've jumped through the hoops that were required by New York City. It was not <laughs> easy, guys. Hoops. It was not easy, but we did it, and I'm really excited. So now it's just getting me on the debate stage with whomever will be my uh, opponent in the Democratic primary. And yes. Kuwa. So yes. get me on the, you know, donate. If a thousand people donate two hundred dollars, it's done. It's a done deal. So let's do there it. There we go. So she'll get in the base stage with Curtis Sliwa and also whoever. Right now, it looks like Eric Adams, but it may not be. But it looks and like it'll I've be Eric Adams. Eric Adams. Uh, funny you say that. I uh, was on a few of these forums with him, yep. and uh, he agreed with me on my education policies and things like that. So I and he shows up to everything. I have to say, he's yes. just, you know Yang didn't show up to a lot of these debates, uh, these forums. I call them debates. But mm -hmm. Adam showed up to almost every single one. And it was always me and Adam together. So maybe that was foreshadowing. It's also a good thing because that means his people have seen you. So you are now a face that people will remember. Oh, yeah. I saw her before. Right? That's, uh, that is that is great. That's the libertarian chick. <laughs> yes. He's, there we go. It's libertarian chick. I love it. So let me go to another piece, if I could, from, um, fr from Yang's policies. Yang and you agree on this part. And that is... The idea that Madison Square Garden and some of these other big places in New York City that don't pay any tax should start paying taxes. Tell me right. about that. Even though tax is theft, but let, you know it's theft that the people I have to pay taxes out of my measly salaries. You have to pay taxes, at me, and this man who's make making billions of dollars or millions of dollars a year pays nothing, and and we wonder why our city is broke. Yep. I mean, tax Absolutely. is a reality. He he he's you know we. You know, and it was a cronyism deal done years ago. Then he said, Jim Doyle said, Jim Doyle, James Doyle, Jim Doyle mm -hmm. said, oh, then I'll raise the prices for the games and this and that. If, if you make me pay taxes, I'm like, well, let the market decide. They'll go to somewhere else. They'll go to Barclays or Center for games and whatever. Yankee Stadium, whatever. Of course, the prices there are crazy, but whatever. <laughs> yes. I mean, he, that was his threat. They, yes. they, uh, they, they called me out. The New York One moderator called me out on one of the debates. 
Yes, I know that. it is a threat. I, I don't, I'm with you. I, I think, look, if we're going to get hammered with taxes, then we all get hammered with taxes. Yeah. That's it, right? Then we all get hammered. That's it. Hammer us all equally, right? Or, or don't bother <laughs> even hammering us at all. I, I completely agree. <laughs> so let me move on to, I think, what, one of the toughest ones that we have in New York right now and many cities, crime. Crime is a big deal. And one of the answers that Yang had for crime was to create, uh, was to take the police chief and to not make them a cop, but to make the police chief a civilian. But you don't think that, that that's the case. You think it's more on the ground level than it is at the upper level. I mean, if someone goes nuts and starts shooting away or stabbing people, it doesn't matter if it's civilian or not, right? We're talking about safety, public safety. Right. So we need to, ground level, we need, I keep saying this, mental health, housing stability, and food security, number one. That right. might stop a lot of people from going nuts, crazy. I don't use the word crazy. Or having a breakdown, being yep. violent, uh, domestic violence, uh, sta- subway violence. You know, I think we should have more uh, plain clothes cops without, you know, that can respond. Yeah. You it's- brought this up, which I, which I love the idea of this. When you told me that you were thinking about the idea of, at most people assume that when you want more police presence, what you want is the cop car driving by with the lights on, the guy out there with the gun and the badge. And you're saying you actually want a, more plain clothes out there because if, if I understand right, tell me if I'm wrong, because the plain clothes person is just going to be out there. And if crime is there, he or she is already there. But not just that. Now the criminals don't know where the cops are. So the cops, right, if, if a cop is, is walking there or has his lights on and drives by, oh, well, that cop's gone. Now I can go commit my crime. Right. But so they don't violence know. Violence. Yes, right. exactly. But if they not don't for, know like, where not the Not for, like, is. pot smoking or victimless, but, like, real crime that people are, people don't feel safe. Every time I speak to, I speak, I speak to people of all nationalities, all walks of life, that's what I've been hearing, that they don't feel safe. What am I going to do to make people feel safe? So That's you're basically right doing like the air marshal on the airplane. Right. Right. The air, we don't, no one knows who the air marshal is in the airplane or if there even is one, we don't know. Maybe there's one, maybe there's not, we don't know. You're saying kind of copy that in the crime neighborhoods so right. that people don't know who, who the cop may or may not be. Right. I mean, re- yes. And it's not over policing. It's just, right. just in case something happens, we're there. And then the response and they're looking for will- violence. Right. Violence. It, 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 this way, if there's a domestic violence dispute, they can, you know, call the pr- appropriate people to, for backup. And there'll be, a, you know, two people patrolling. They won't know. They could be a part of but, the community. But I like the other part you bring up here, because now, as you've brought this up many times, a lot of this, a lot of the crime is because of mental health breakdowns, right? That's a common reason for crime. Not the only reason, obviously. No. But it's a common reason is mental health breakdowns. And if there's a plainclothes person there, they can know who to call, right? They can know, okay, this isn't a violent cop that needs to be coming in. It's not this, not that. This is this is a social worker who should come in. Or right. no, this is really bring the guns, right? And, well, and I want to add a whole mental is. health compass, uh, unit, uh, uh, increase the mental health unit in the police department where we have people being hired, uh, you know, to as mental health counselors in the department that are also officers, mm, so which mm-hmm. will totally de-escalate a lot of the crime that we see. It's a different kind of policing. We have to police sure. psychologically, not with guns and and an escalation. Got it. That's what I believe personally. Okay, good. Let me grab a couple more comments if I can. Um, let's see if I can grab here. Um, Ryan says, "Just got paid." Hitting www.pressmanformayor.com after the show to donate. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate thank that. You, Ryan. I appreciate that. Yes, thank you. Anybody else who wants to, please head over to pressmanformayor.com if you like what what she's saying. If you want to try to get her in debate stage, which is what I care about, right? Get her in debate stage with Curtis Lewa and looks like Eric Adams or whoever the, the Democrat's going to be. And the debate will be in October. Is that right? It's October, right? Or September? I forgot which date it is. I think it's October. Um, but anyway, so you'll get get them there. It's great. So Jay asks. What do you think about the, the mess of ranked choice voting? He thinks it's a fix. Do you think that was on purpose? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I 
think they want to make people feel that they had a choice. Uh, it seems crazy to me. Like, you know, just vote for the pe whoever and whoever gets the most votes will win the election. I don't no, know. What, what, I, what he's saying is, does he, do you think that the, the mess up, the screw oh, up that they had could, was I, that on purpose? It might have been. I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. I might have big conspiracy theorists, but sometimes I become one. I, I don't know. I think I, knowing New York City and the government, it was a mess. It was a real mess. Mm. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. It was a mess. Absolutely. Okay. So David says mental health and substance abuse services are less costly Absolutely. and provide a more permanent solution than mass incarceration. This is exactly what you're saying, Stacey. Exactly. It's, 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 we don't, we always put band-aids on the problem, put them in a jail. Put it, they have a mental health issue. They're addicted or, or, you know, comorbidly, they have both. We just, we've normalized homelessness to that crazy guy, the smelly crazy guy. That's what, how people think of homeless people. They're human yes. beings. It's yes. not acceptable in my city to have homeless people in the in 2021. That's it. And the other piece you don't realize is a lot of the people who are homeless, we, the, the image we have of homeless persons, which you said, you're right. The crazy guy who's yelling out in the street, that's our image. But that's only a percentage there's of homeless. families. Yes, there's working poor. Uh, there's all types people of living people living in shelters, families, yep. uh, very smart, educated people with master's degrees and totally just their landlord was a jerk and kicked them out. I mean, we don't, there's a lot of people that moved to the city and they got, you know, screwed over by a real estate agent. I yes. mean, I've seen, I've been in the city for many years and I've seen horrible situations. Absolutely. Uh, Andrea says de-escalation training is so needed. Yes. Yes. 100%. I think we need to retrain our police force. I think, you know, we, the old ways have to change and new ways need to, you know, people don't like change as much as they said they want to change. They keep voting for the same people and they get the same results. Yes. We need absolutely. New yes. We need new uh -huh. energy in the city. So speaking of energy, the thing that, again, I'm going to, I'm going back to Yang again, because Yang and you agreed on this, but you have different ways of doing it. Yang was saying he wants to kind of, quickly bring back Broadway. He wants to get that as bringing people back to the city. And you've talked about that too. You've talked about the idea of just like the arts and culture in general, bringing them all back to include Broadway. He was right. specific on Broadway, but you're kind of like, that's what gets people back Broadway into the city. is coming back, first of all. And that, first of all, you have to, I, I've, I've been in off Broadway, so I know how it goes. You have to rehearse a show, particularly musicals. You have to have all sorts of like, rehearsals then you have to let you know tech rehearsals and it takes a while to all these dancers and singers have to get their themselves back i don't know if new shows are coming back the old ones are i don't know what's going on with the broadway uh what whose menu is going to be you know i don't know what shows are coming back what's not but so that it's coming back and you know there's a lot of union rules and stuff like that it, that are prevent you know maybe making it slower but it's mm -hmm. coming back but there's restaurants you know i was at uh, we had pride event this week and it wasn't yep. enough restaurants and bars to fulfill where I was, a lot of the village is closed down. Wow. I was in Michigan I, this weekend, so I missed Pride. Yeah, we had a really nice time. We had a great booth. The Manhattan LP did a great job. Nice. Shout out. Uh, yes, out very nice. Libertarian. So we had a, anyway, but it, I, I've noticed I couldn't find a slice of pizza down Broadway when I walked from 14th to Broadway Lafayette. There are deserts. If, if, if you can't find a slice of pizza in New York, there's a problem. And the McDonald's, I could see how there wasn't enough restaurants because people were eating outside in the hot. Like I could tell, and there wasn't enough bars. They were. I just could tell. Didn't feel there's like some crowded places, but there's just empty, empty storefront. So we need to bring back restaurants, arts, and cultures in general, not just Broadway. There needs to be, a lot of places have closed. Clothing stores have closed that were there for years. Uh, we just don't have an. I don't think in Manhattan so, specifically. Manhattan is the issue. It's the so bar. You're talking bar about okay. something. That, that I thought was interesting. Your idea is to say for any business as in the hospitality business to include arts and culture. Yes. That for one year, there should be no city tax. Yes. For one year. I think it'll help them get, it's, a, it's a bold move, but I think it is. Be, it's a bold move, but we need to get our arts and I mean, that's what the, 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 the heartbeat of our city is, is our culture, our arts, our restaurants. And, we, it, I've been going through this, you know, I live in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Where I live, it's normal. It feels kind of normal. Where you live, it's normal. Manhattan specifically, yeah. in areas that were are not poor areas. Let me, it, areas that are transient, where 
they're either very wealthy. People have homes in the Hamptons. They like the West Village, for instance, to Chelsea. They're empty. It was like it's pretty empty in terms of what it normally is. There are people coming through and there's tourists, but they, we don't have the businesses to support the tourists. Mm, right, 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 right. Yes, abso absolutely. Yes, absolutely. The the I, I look. I like your move. I'm not saying I don't like it. I think the, the you know a one year tax. We have to try you know, something, Larry. I mean, yes. We need to get it going again because people are just not going to come back here. Absolutely. Unless we I, make I, it feel safe. And there, we have a drug problem. There are people nodding off in the streets, shooting up, you know, on 14th Street. In, in, there was a, in the basement of a closed restaurant, I saw somebody shooting up this weekend. It was heartbreaking. There is there's a huge amount of drugs coming into New York City. Huge. There's a, you're right. There's a massive addiction problem. That's absolutely clear. People are trying to escape. Right, they're, they're trying hurt, to they're escape. In pain. They don't know what's happening next. We have a different variants. Are they going to close? Are going to open? Or you know, they lost their whole life, their jobs. They're isolated from being in quarantine. Now we're out of quarantine, and things are reopened. Now what? People are like now have to go back into the world. That's scary. So it's it's so, scary in every end. Being open and being closed is scary. It's like it's I got to tell people. you. That's one thing that Yang didn't bring up much. That wasn't his big thing. He hardly talked about it, but. Mental health for you is a big deal. It, it's you talk about it often. It's close to your heart. It matters to you. So do you have an idea or a plan how we deal with this addiction issue? Is it as simple as just get them back to work? Is it that simple? No, absolutely Or is there not. something else? There are functioning, you know, I, 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 the reason I speak about mental health so often, Larry, is because I've spoke on mental health in, in over 100, 150, 200 colleges in the last couple of years. And- I've been written about articles uh, in the post why it came out with my eating disorder. So to me, it's a, it's a but I, I, I know people recently committed suicide. Um, may they rest in peace. And it's a big issue. You cannot have a healthy city if you're not, like we closed down because of a health scare, a physical mm -hmm. health scare. Now we're having a mental health crisis. And mm. if we don't address that, we can't function. People just don't go back. We're not machines. We're human beings with souls and, and brains and feelings. And you could just go back to work. People could have trauma. I mean, because I lived through 9-11. You lived through 9-11. There was trauma from that for a lot of people. Now, this is a year worth of it. Being locked yes. away, having things shut down, people dying, all this kind of things. And now everything's open. Now what? I, rem I remember 9-11 was bad. But within about three months, we were functioning again. Right. right. And people were together. We were they had community. Yes. We were yes. putting people in isolation, particularly drug 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 addicts, people with an addiction, is the worst thing to ever do. Because one of the ways to help addiction is to be in community. Once you get right. people out of the community and they're isolated, that's when stuff goes wrong for a lot of people. Right. Right. Yeah, because they feel like why bother? No hope. They feel all those things. They feel isol yes. isolation is dangerous for addicts. Yes. Absolutely. So l let me touch one more piece that Yang talked about, which is the idea of making New York City a cyber hub. Now, the, the attack they always get right away is, well, we don't want cyber in New York City because the environmental issues and, you know, there's it, it's it's you know, it's, we don't want that. And we have bit license and such. But he was like, we got to make it friendly to bring the cyber world into New York City. Do you have a, a, a view on that? Well, I believe if if that if that particular world, like I remember when the in the ninety late nineties, early two thousand, there was the dot com boom. Oh I, yes, remember the dot com boom, and we were yep. our economy was thriving. Rocking and month, rolling. It was rocking and rolling. People were making money. Uh, they were happy. It was, it was good financial years for our, our what I remember for me at yep. least. <laughs> One of the few fi good financial years, but it was a good financial year for me, and I was able yeah. to do a lot of things those years and. Um, if the market needs, if we have the market for it and they want to come to the city, please come. It's, it's, it, it'll bring jobs, you know, for all types of people. And I believe that the mining would be outside the city anyway. When it would yeah, be, it probably will. Yeah, they're not going to mine in the city. Yeah, they're not that's gonna true. They're not going to mine in the city. So we need businesses to come back here. And if they want to come back and they're providing jobs for all our New Yorkers and, and good jobs and good careers, then we should try it. I don't have anything bad about that. I mean, I don't, I'm not, that's not my world. I don't come from that world. I'd like to do sure. more research on that. 
But if, if those are nice companies that are going to bring life back into the city, I don't see why the problem is. The, if the market is there, it's the market's choice. And I would welcome them here. Uh, I love that. I think we, I, I, co- I tried to cover the, the big Yang pieces, right, that he had been talking about. And I feel like if someone's listening, if someone's watching and they're saying, hey, wait a minute, you know, I, I'm a Yang guy and Yang's gone. Okay, well, Stacey Prussman's here. She's listening to you and she's she's going to try to solve the same issues, right, with plans for the same thing. And for those of you who care, head over to Prussman4Mayor.com and support her if you can. She needs both money and volunteers. She needs yeah, all of them. Yeah, we need volunteers. You- but now we're getting, we have, we're going to have really great events as well. So uh, I, 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 I'm working with this great uh, company now that, we're going to have fun events. So you want to be volunteer in those. I want to be in, in all the even Staten Island. I actually l- learned to love Staten Island because I've been going there more often. Uh, and it, it's actually really beautiful. Is it, for I for those of event. you who don't live in New York city, Staten Island is like the hardest borough to get to. Yeah. Like people the don't go the there. We have to. a lot of land there. Um, I want to clean it up. I know there's a lot of chemicals. I want to see if we can help their groundwater. I, I, I want to do research in cancer clusters in New York city. Oh yes, absolutely. With that, with this, what two big dumps on Staten Island or one? Yeah, it's yeah, two. yeah. I want to sort of, I want to help but, people. I think that we're not. I think we, what's been going on. It's it, and I and I equate it to a pre-war building. If you don't know right. what a pre-war building is, it's usually very beautiful. Uh, sometimes it looks. It has an old radiator, and you know, and they just keep painting over. And then sometimes it's mold. And they'll just paint over the mold. We got to stop painting over the mold. We got to remove the mold. We got to. See what the problem is, take it away, and then paint over the clean concrete or whatever sheetrock, whatever it is, and not just keep painting over the mold like New York's right. been doing for the last, you know, fifty years. I mean, it's this time for new leadership. True. We need new leadership now and innovation. We have brilliant people, you know, all over the city that need work and that could bring their genius to New York. Absolutely. I love it. And some, so of, let me, some of them are on my team. So <laughs> so let me let me ask before we wrap this up, um, is there something that you want to bring up, something that I might have missed? What I want, my education. Education is very important to me. Please. I believe that our schools have failed our kids. I've heard that from ev- people, both Democrats and Republicans. So it's not yep. a, uh, we need to give students a choice of where they can go to school, how they go to school, how they learn. We've seen this mm-hmm. pandemic that some students learn better at home, some better in yep. school. So we need to give people that choice. And we the best we can do that. We need to take away all our core curriculums and things like that and let teachers teach. Really teach mm-hmm. teaching is an art. I've had teachers that are were geniuses and they and 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 they were artists in the way they taught and they were able to get through to students like myself in math and uh and there's ways to get through to students that don't always learn the same. We all learn differently and we have to be, treat our students differently. I want to make sure that schools have healthy food. They have choice of food like vegetarian or vegan and not just some crappy food. Cause you know, nutrition is so important the way we live sure. our lives. I'm very Absolutely. health conscious. And I think people, we need to worry about our health. If this pandemic taught us anything, the health, both mental and physical is so important. Hundred percent, yes, both, and I think you hit it perfectly. It's both mental and physical. It isn't just physical. It isn't just mental. It's both. Absolutely true. Yes, absolutely, hundred percent. That's that. That's amazing. Well, everybody, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, please head over to Prussman for Mayor.com to see what she's doing, her policies, her ideas, and her upcoming events real soon. If you want to jump on board, please click that blue donate button. And you can give uh, you can give two hundred fifty bucks if you got it. It's awesome. But if you got five or ten, that also works. Yeah. All of it's good. Give whatever you can give. And if you can volunteer, she needs volunteers. She needs people to be her social media warriors and these people to show up throughout all the boroughs of New York. We're an eight million person city. It's a lot, a big, a lot of space. So thank you so much, Stacey, for coming aboard. Thank, thank you. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for having me. Thank you.